What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this name reveal effect instead of after effects. Now this effect doesn't have to be used just for text like on the jersey here for example. You can use this effect for other things like car videos where you reveal the logo. Um, it's pretty much the same kind of concept here but just a little bit different. But yeah for this example I'm just going to be doing a name kind of reveal effect on this jersey here. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab the pen tool and just make pretty rough outline around the name here and it doesn't have to be too perfect you just want to make sure that um, you outline the whole entire text here and then let's just bring the mask to subtract and then we just want to right click our mask and hit track mask and let's just track this forward all right so the mask looks pretty good here so what I'm going to do now is content aware fill what you can do is just hit generate fill layer here and it's just going to go ahead and generate basically this missing frame here based off what you have in this video. And as you can see for this example, it just messes up and takes like <laughs> random parts of the number and kind of puts it up here. So what I have to do instead is actually go up here and hit create reference frame. And this is basically going to open up Photoshop so I can kind of have more control of what I want the actual area to be. Also a quick tip if your Photoshop isn't actually opening up, you just want to go on to one of your Photoshop files and just make sure that you click open with, choose another app and make sure that it's always using PSD files. And once you have that, it should fix the issue if uh, Photoshop isn't automatically opening up, um, or you might have to actually update Photoshop and Adobe to the latest versions. But yeah, once you have it open here, you just wanna use the remove tool here, and then just select this area that's missing here. As you can see, it did a pretty good job, but it did get some weird kind of artifacts again, so I'm just gonna kind of clean it up here. It doesn't have to be too perfect, something like this should work. So once you have that, just hit control S to save the project. And we're just going to close this window here. Now you can see the Photoshop frame is imported into our project here. So now let's just go ahead and hit generate fill layer. And it's just going to use our reference frame for the rest of the frames here. So now when I play this back, you can see it kind of took that reference frame and uses for the rest of the frames here. Uh, later on right here, it kind of messes up, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue because I think the effect will only last for a few frames. And then also at the start, it kind of messes up here. So I'm just not going to use that starting reference frame and just go ahead and use what it generated. And that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is duplicate that bottom layer with that mask. Just hit Control D and bring it all the way to the top. Then go into the mask and hit add. And then you can now see your text is back here. And now this is where we can kind of mess with the different animations. So the first one I'm going to use is just called linear wipe. So you can just bring this onto your uh, layer here. And let's just go ahead and change the wipe angle to negative 90. Then you can mess with this percentage here to kind of animate the actual animation. So I'm going to have it start around like 70%. Set a keyframe at the start and then just go a few frames over. And just bring this until you can actually see the name appear back up. I'm gonna hit U to open up the keyframes and then hit F9 to easy ease them or you can right click and then hit keyframe assistant, easy ease. But with those easy ease, you can go into the graph editor and just kind of mess with this graph to make it look a lot more, I guess, smooth. So once you have your animation, you can go back into this linear wipe and mess with the feather. We can make this to like 50. So it kind of just feathers out that line. Um, that's up to you if you wanna keep that or not. I think it just kind of smooths it out, just makes it look a little bit better. But yeah, that's pretty much how you create this animation effect using this linear wipe. There's a lot of other ways you can animate this text on, but this is pretty much the basic and what I've kind of seen on other videos. So if you want to kind of replicate this, this is probably the easiest way to replicate it. Um, but if you want to kind of do something different with this animation, you can use other effects. Um, but what I actually have are my presets here, my logo reveal presets here. I have all of these different ones, which were actually made for like car badges and stuff. But this actually works super well for this as well so if i just drag on this first one here onto our footage you can see what we get here which is actually pretty cool for this not really being meant for it so we can go here and mess with the colors so now as you can see we get a totally different result and actually looks really sick so if you want to go ahead and use these effects i'll have them linked down in the description below there's a ton of different effects you get here i'm going to bring on this luma fade this one's pretty cool it kind of outlines the text here and then fills it in. So this one's kind of clean. But yeah, there's just tons of different ones. So once again, if you want to download that, that'll be linked down in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess the last thing you could do is just pre-compose all these layers here and then just open up your scale and position values and then just kind of keyframe them to zoom in on the name here. 
as it kind of reveals. And then you just want to make sure motion blur is on. And as you can see, we now get this super clean kind of zoom in while the text is revealing. So it just adds a little bit more motion to it. You could even add shake to this if you want to add even more like motion depending on uh, the song you're using. And if you want there to be like a pretty big impact on this name. So I'm just going to split the layer here on where the name kind of reveals. Let's just go ahead and try this shake Y right here. See how this one looks. And yeah, as you can see, it just adds a bit more like impact on that name actually revealing. So if you want to add that, it's up to you guys. Um, you can just add whatever shakes you want. I just used my shakes that I have here, for example. Uh, but once again, I'll have those links or they'll be in my pay hip if you want to go ahead and download those. So a lot of different ways you can kind of create that effect. But that's just like the easiest way I like to go ahead and do. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.